What's up YouTube, welcome back. So we have this high mileage, way overdue oil change Honda Civic that I did an earlier YouTube on. Um, I think it's a 2010. Anywho, they are. Uh, Two thousand seven Honda Civic four door sedan. So the used car dealer brought it back after oil and safety that the AC wasn't working. We did a, a UV oil and dye light and charge check. Found that the compressor was leaking and the AC condenser. Go figure at this mileage. Put a new AC compressor uh, and condenser in it. Fire it up. AC cycles. Uh, it runs, cycles off, runs, cycles off, and then gets worse so the cycle gets shorter cycle time gets shorter so i'm like do i got a bad compressor this is a new part it's not reman what the f is going on there's no diagnostic strategies for the climate controller really other than a bunch of manual checks uh expansion valve checked out good so i'm in here with an ohm meter and i check the uh evaporator temp sensor with my ohm meter it says that it's open there's no specified value in all data to tell me what it's supposed to be. So, of course, it took a week for us to get an evaporator temp sensor. So, right here next to your glove, uh, behind your glove box, there's a plug here that looks just like that. So I unplugged it, plugged the new one in. We're money, we're ready to go. Do you absolutely need this thing touching the evaporator? No. In certain climates in the world, um, what that does is prevent the evaporator core from freezing. In South Jersey, it's never going to freeze. Unless there's a, another malfunction, malfunction in the AC system, which is very unlikely. So, I'm going to say I got this right the first time. Woo! But you had to get it up and running. You had to fix the leaks, get the system up and running, and see what you're dealing with. So, everything's nice and cold. I'm going to slap this turd back together. Uh, it took us a week to get this part from Honda. But the conditions were, you start the car up, compressor would come on, fans would come on, it would run for 30 seconds, shut right off, come back on, cycle like it was low on charge, um, when I know it wasn't low on charge, and eventually it would just peter completely off and not cycle back on whatsoever. And then uh, that was the conditions. There's no diagnostic strategy for the climate controller. There was no information on this other than if you have a constant cycling AC compressor to test, uh, to swap this out to see if it corrects it. But a cycling AC compressor situation could be a weak relay, could be a weak clutch, could be low refrigerant. Um, so there you have it. Thanks for watching.